I took Summer on outings to the park, etc. Such an outgoing personality and full of love and life, or life and love. I've taken her out about four times. The last two times she cried and begged to stay with me. Candace asked me to watch her the day that she went missing, but I couldn't as I had a doctor's appointment. I am blaming myself. I haven't been sleeping. By the way, I have bought summer clothes, shows, and two toys for Christmas. The nice shoes that you saw in the coffin picture is the one I bought her. To my knowledge, she only put her in those shoes when they went on vacation and a few other times. When I picked her up, she had on shoes that were made for like a 12-year-old. Candace tried to mention what she liked during the interview but missed a lot of things she liked. She liked Barbies, unicorns, Lion King toys, and grow toys, but the Lion King toys were her favorite. She cried when they cut her hair. Her mother said because it wasn't hard to care for. I didn't ask Candace, just Summer. They have cut her hair. And it appears that there is some things cut off here that I'm not able to read. But this is the picture and the shoes that she's referring to. It's a lot wrong with this picture. Very disturbing. Starting with her face. We already know her hair is cut, but her face is unhappy. The position that she's standing in. The placement of her hands. Her frail body. And clothes that don't fit her. Pajama pants worn with a sequence top that appears to be dingy and dirty. This baby is not happy. And these pictures are very disturbing. What the lady said was very disturbing. Enough that this family should be locked up, the parents, until they figure out what happened to something. I don't understand how two people can come up missing in the same family. Rose Bly, Candace's sister, missing without a trace and never found years ago. I did a video on it. I can't remember what year she went missing, but she's never been found. And according to reports, she was actually watching Candace's children at the time, like she was a guardian over her children. But this is very disturbing. The lady recounts of her time with Summer and the things that she said there. I, I'm wondering, have she brought it, been brought in for questioning? Because this is a problem. This baby has been gone for weeks at this point. And still, they're no closer today than they were yesterday. Than they were weeks ago. Let me know what you think about this in the comments section.